I made this Ford about two years ago when I was working on LEDs, installing them in pinball machines. Um, many of the LEDs were bad upon uh, arrival. And also, when I um, install either bulbs or LEDs in pinball machines, I power off the machine so as not to cause any possible accidental shorts. So um, it's a real drag when you install a bulb into a machine, then you power up the machine and you find out the bulb is bad. So I made this real cheap, real simple um, bulb and LED tester. Got all the parts at Radio Shack and probably a little overkill on this, but this is a prototype and I'm about to make a new one soon. What's really nice about this is it has a um, 3AA um, battery holder right here with a power switch. It has the on and off switch. That's a really cool feature. Then um, I have a 44 base style socket and a 555 base style socket and they're just glue guns to a PC board, a printed circuit board, and all the wires running through the board to these. And they're too complex. But uh, the, new, the new model is going to have just these two sockets glue gun directly to this little case, which is which I should have thought of in the first place. So I'll have this little box itself will be my tester, which is a really good idea, I think. So I wouldn't need this whole big goofy on um, PC board. But anyway, it's so simple to use. Just use the on switch, turn it on. And you take an LED, to find out is this LED good or not. You don't even have to put them completely in the socket on this. It works so great. Just touch it to it. Boom. Lights up. LED is good. Works the same with a 44 lamp. Here's a 44 lamp. The same way. Just touch it. Good to go. Got the 555 socket. Here's the LED for that. Just put it to the socket. You saw it lit once already. There. That's a good LED. And a bulb. Same thing. And just barely touching. I'm not even very lightly. It's not even the way of the bulb. It's just making contact. All you have to do is make contact. So you don't have to wedge anything in there. It's really quick. It takes a couple of seconds. You can check any LED or any lamp, any suspicious lamp or LED in a machine that's already in a machine. You can pull it out real quick with this, test it, make sure it's not the, um, the machine's wiring or sockets or driver boards or anything like that. First things first, check that the bulb is working. If the bulb is working, you save yourself or not working, you'll save yourself a lot of time and the headaches. So I thought I'd just show you this and I always shut it off even though you probably don't have to in this um, particular application because it's not really drawing any current or anything like this without any bulbs in. But um, I've had the same batteries over two years. I check occasionally if there's any corrosion and there's nothing. For two years this has worked on hundreds and hundreds of LEDs. Yeah, you could put uh, another socket and do some more wiring and add some more um, switches for uh, flashers, but um, in the real world it's really not necessary. The main things you've got to deal with is the um, GI lighting, insert lighting on play field, back glass, and all that stuff. So some regular bulbs and uh, LEDs. So you'll need the high, the higher voltage for the um, flashers to test. Not, not really. You'll need this thing for that. So um, just thought I'd show this to you. A very simple thing. Costs maybe seven bucks to build or something like that and it's come in valuable. I've used this so many times it's ridiculous already. Like I said the new ones will be much better. It'll be just this, the size of this battery holder itself and uh, eliminate this whole board. Just wire directly socket to socket. And yes you can test two bulbs at the same time but why would you have to do that? You know it's you know, just, just for the sake of being able to do it. But anyway that's my LED and lamp tester for pinball machines or any, any, anything you want to use them for.